Here's a tip for team parent. So in my studio, I have these parent guide books, one for violin, one for cello, where I took all the pieces from book one and I applied my color coding system. So all the A strings are orange, all the E strings are pink, D string purple, G string is green, um, and then if you have the cello, your C string is yellow. And what I did in this book is I included the name of the, the note and the fingering for it. Um, and here I've also separated um, peanut butter ice cream, the line separating the two rhythms, even though it says within one measure, making it easier for parents to understand. So the thing about music notation is that it's a very good way to um, kind of in an organized system write down all of these concepts. But if you don't understand how to read music notation, it doesn't really do a lot for you. So in this way, we can jot down all of the important things from our pieces in a really organized manner um, so that parents can actually refer to it at home for practice. So I think this is a lot easier to follow for a parent in their notes rather than trying to, you know, really quick write these down. Although I do have another video on how to write and, um, very quickly, but this also indicates the rhythm and how long we need to play things, form, all those kinds of lovely things, different sections. So these are available in the studio. Feel free to take a look. If your child starts a new piece, go ahead and you can snap a picture or copy it right into your Suzuki book when you come in. Your children should not be looking at this for practice if you want them to ever actually become fluent um, and gain some musical note reading literacy. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.